Hey buddy, Crow back again, and I'm going to do a video on Animal Crossing New Horizons. How could I not? This game is now exactly three months old. It's now June 20th. The game was released March 20th. I picked it up the day of release, and I have played it every day since then. So how can I not make a video on this uh, some way or another? Um, you know, I play. I say I play it every day. It could be for as little as 10 and 15 minutes, all the way up to like multiple hours in one day, just depending on what I felt like doing in the game. So what I want to do in this video is I'm basically just gonna walk around my island. It's kind of be like an island tour video, but also like thoughts on the game as I run across things. And you know what? I have taken a lot of screenshots too, so I may have some uh, you know slideshow at the end where I'll comment on the pictures I took. But let's jump in right now and um, the very first thing I want to comment on is this intro with Isabel because it seems like 90% of the time it shouldn't even be necessary um, some of the long load times to get in the game are sometimes pretty there we go so does she have anything important to say good morning everyone right now dead zone is 10 a.m. on Saturday June 20th 2020 Hmm. Yeah, yeah, no news. So if there's no news, I don't understand why it just doesn't jump into the game. Only show Isabel when there is news. All right, we start the game. We come out of our house, and uh, yeah, I've done quite a bit of terraforming. That was the bulk. That was my probably one of my favorite things to do in this game was terraform the island exactly to how I wanted. Now it wasn't something you uh, unlocked right away, so you basically placed everything, and <laughs> then I wound up going back and moving everything just so I could terraform things the way I wanted them to. So as you see, I could put my house in this area here where it's uh, just surrounded by waterfalls. It can be pretty noisy, but uh, yeah. You know what? Before we even go anywhere, I'm just going to take you a little tour around the house really quick. Um, I don't really care that much about the house decorating, believe it or not. Um, so yeah, just I got things the way I like them and I don't really mess around with it too much. You got to have a workbench in your house because um, a lot of times when you're making things, you'll want to, you'll need things from storage. Like, um, so like a lot of my storage, um, I have almost 300 slots free, but a lot of it is just like tools that I've made so I could grab some whenever I make. And you know what? The tools do break really easily. It seems like the tools break more frequently than any animal, other Animal Crossing game I've played. Um, so that's something that's kind of disappointing, I guess. But yeah, I got a lot of uh, resources because I save all the resources I could pick up saved. And I'm also trying to build a, a, a T-Rex and a Pterodactyl, a full one. Uh, for something else, I'll show you later. Do that. Let's go in the back room. Again, I just kind of put this stuff together. And I'm not one of those people that's totally into collecting everything in the game. But when I see something, I'll get it. Um, so yeah, this is kind of the bedroom. I do want to make a... Uh, do want to make a bathroom at some point so i've been kind of saving you know the bathroom kind of items so let's see what is um over here i mean i, I kind of set things up towards oh this is kind of cool let's just keep it this way but again um yeah so i mean i kind of wish that they we could make these rooms bigger i think you could make the side rooms bigger in other animal crossing games but i do like this ocean wallpaper <laughs> i do also like the fact that you can angle the camera however you want inside the house but uh it'd be kind of nice if you could do that outside too but um i, I kind of see why you wouldn't want to do that this room would be kind of um it's kind of empty for the moment i think and again i'm not too into uh decorating the house again this was going to be the gym area but then i realized that um it's almost better to have things outside than inside because it's um, it works towards your score for having a perfect island. So a lot of the stuff that I originally was going to keep inside, I've thrown outside. Like I had a whole arcade. I'm like, let's have the arcade outside. Like I had some uh, arcade machines and pinball machines here, but I like this whole lava thing. And I, I thought it was kind of cool, like how when you run in the lava, it makes a splashing noise. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I'm just not too into decorating the house. And I guess maybe that's why it's a good reason I just throw this at the beginning of the video. 
Yeah, upstairs again, we got the stream. Just I, This is where I was throwing all these musical instruments and stuff. Um, yeah, they're performing for a stadium, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, let's get out of here. Because I, I don't find... There's people like that are into the um, home... The, the, the association, whatever, every, every Sunday to give you points. But the thing is... The thing that doesn't make sense to me is it does they don't care how cluttered it is. Just jam your home as much full of things as possible will give you all the points. And I I, I just don't really care. I guess I got my um, <laughs> Mystery Science Theater Shadow Rama um, tile set here. Also I have uh, I should have saved this for later, but like coming up, this is I like the flags and the gateway up to the house and everything. So yeah, I, I spent a um, bit the time setting all that up and it looks like there is a fossil here and I still even though I have gotten all the fossils and everything there are still some fossils I'm looking for if you see, yeah the uh, t-rex and the pterodactyl and I'll show you why later usually what I do is I'll kind of run around and um, see if there's some hidden um, because every every day when I play this what I'm mainly doing is I'm looking for the fossils I'm gonna hit the rocks, and um, that's pretty much it. I'll check out turnip prices if necessary. But one of the things I did back here was I kind of made in a, a sneaky area back here because um, when Red Ship shows up, it shows up back here, and I wanted a way to get back here without having to use ladders or ramps or inclines or anything. And I also made a little shortcut to that too. So um, <laughs> yeah, that's what I did there. It looks like weeds. I always pick up the weeds when I see them. But where do we want to head to next? I'm just uh, south of uh, that. I, I put all the um, trees, the fruit trees, basically. Everything except, well, there's weeds back here that I never picked up. Everything except for uh, oranges, which are my native ones. I have a separate section for that. But again, apples, pears, peaches, and cherries. And I have the same number of each one. I also like this little pond here. Uh, coming down and this is originally the area where I had um, Everybody that house oh, look at this. We're already finding a second one. There's four. There's always four fossils per day and uh, Sometimes you just can't find that last one I wind up searching all over the place and it was funny is when I give up that's when I find it so we got that glowing hole and um, Always dig up a thousand, but we got to put that away and I always put in a ten thousand oops and um, it's been like that for a long time with almost every Animal Crossing game. Buried the 10,000. What's nice though is you could just pick that up and move it somewhere else. And I have a spot for these trees, which you'll see later. Now, um, this section I didn't know what to do with for a while. I had some extra bridges, so I threw some extra bridges here. But then I uh, was thinking about making a skull island. But that didn't quite work out. So I wound up, when I was messing around, I kind of wound up something that looked a little bit like the Cactor from uh, Final Fantasy. Uh, so I decided, oh, let's add a little bit of extra, like, um, ground effects here to make it look like more like a Cactor. So I think that's pretty funny. And of course, look at this. We're already on our third fossil. I usually don't find them this quickly. But again, I, I saw this in somebody's village. Like, oh yeah, let's have a little play place here. So they put all those, um, you know, uh, kid things. Uh, I don't like, I have the teacup right off because I don't like the sounds it makes. The uh, the music is really annoying. And of course, KK is playing in the town later. So we got to come back at six o'clock to hear him sing. So uh, let's actually work our way down here. You come from the airport, and we got the sign, we're open. And again, I got the shadow rama. It's so good, I had to have it twice in there. There's some gumball machines. I forgot to mention, no littering. The reason I had I put the sign, no littering in there, is because I had a friend that would come over and just would drop everything he didn't want. He, he you know, he's, you know, good intentions and all, but um, he would just you know, come over and say, oh, I don't want this stuff, here's stuff for you. But he wouldn't say anything. He would just come into town and just drop it randomly wherever. And it, half the time it was stuff I didn't want either. So I, I put up no littering. <laughs> Again, uh, oranges are the native fruit. So I've got a bunch of orange trees. Uh, it looks like eight of them. Um, and it, this walks right up to the campsite. Um, off here, I just have some... Oh, look at this. That is the uh, last... I never found them this quick. And I was even trying... And I, I kind of straightened out um, all the rivers. This one main river was zigzagging all over the place. It branched, and I straightened 
the thing out because I find it easier to place items when the river isn't <laughs> zigzagging all over the place. But over here, I'm sure you might have noticed the uh, soccer field. And I thought it would be fun. I don't have a soccer ball. There's something I haven't found yet if it's in the game. So I thought it would be pretty funny to put a football on the soccer field. Seeing as how in most other countries, soccer is known as football. So, uh, yeah, wrap your head around that if you want. Again, here's Nook's. Uh, we'll go to Nook's Cranny later. And then Abel's sisters right off to the side here. And again, right off. Uh, the only thing you can't move in the game is um, the main uh, community center, I guess it is because, I don't know, you just can't move that. But it wound up in a pretty nice place after I terraformed everything. Hey, look, there's one of my favorite uh, villagers, Marshall. Let's talk to Marshall, wearing that tiger shirt I gave him. Me, me And I made him say bull butter. <laughs> me amigo, bull butter. <laughs> Let's talk. Uh, <laughs> man, Marshall is at my absolute favorite in the game. Um, so yeah, there's Able Sisters. We'll check them out a little bit later. Um, there's a Boomer. Uh, Marshall and Boomer were not the two villagers that I started out with. I put, um, let's look at the map really quick here. I'll show you really quick. You can see where I where I am and how I set up all the houses. And now the front two houses are the main villagers that I started with. So Agnes and Leonardo were the two villagers I started out with. And here's the thing is I like the villagers that I have and I didn't want any of them to move out. So, um, there's a lot of people that are trying really hard to get certain villagers. I'm not that picky, but I started out with Agnes and Leonardo. Because I started out with them, I didn't want them to leave the island. And then I was pretty picky about the people. I had to like the people that I saw to invite to begin with. So, um, which is interesting, I got Rattle and Snake. And a friend of mine suggested they live they their houses be side by side. So of course, right next to each other are rattlesnakes. So rattlesnake. So yeah, and then I got the jukebox. I have jukeboxes around randomly playing songs. Um, I think that's a pretty good idea. Wrestling ring was one of those things I originally had in the house in the, one of those side rooms. But since those rooms are so small, it's kind of pointless. So I thought I'd put that wrestling ring outside. Um, oh look, there's Flurry. Let's talk to Flurry. Hamburglar. I don't know why I made her say Hamburglar as a greeting. Glad to see you, Baby Ocho. That was another thing I had her say. Hey, let's chat. A little sunshine never mails. Okay. Oh, that's because she's sitting down. You can't give them stuff. So, um, perhaps I should explain the reason I have the houses uh, arranged the way they are. Oh, look. Here's Wendy. Hey, Crow. I found this epic relaxed spot during my walk, so I'm talking a break. taking a break. So, oh, you know what? I have the volume turned way down, but uh, I just talked to three villagers, so... That's going to get me my reward. So it's an interesting. I really don't. I'm not at the point to where I'm trying to get this. As you can see, I have 157 nook, uh, 157,000 nook miles at this point. So um, I just get them as I get them. I don't go out of my way to do any of the stuff anymore. Um, I guess if I wanted more titles, uh, I could do that. But I actually have the best title on my passport. So... Um, yeah, so basically the reason I set this up the way it is is so I can easily see if people are home or not by coming up on this hill. So you can see that Leonardo and Agnes are home. And if I run up here, I can run over and I can see that these guys aren't home. Uh, by looking at the smoke in the chimney, you can see that they're not home. But yeah, so I can run around and see who's home and who's not home very easily. Um, then I have this extra second hill up here. Just so, you know, some certain fish, I guess, might be at the only in the top uh, area. So that's why that's there. I still sometimes throw random things up here. And I thought it appropriate to put the bamboo around the rock garden. Yes, I did go through all the trouble to position these rocks. I did that about a month and a half ago. And it's just really convenient because now I can just go through and hit the rocks. Uh, all in one shot and get all the stuff from the rocks. That's the main reason I did this. So um, I'll cut back after I've hit all these rocks. Gold! Hey, gold doesn't happen every day for me. All right, this last rock has got to be the money rock. So uh, yeah, um, ever since the very first Animal Crossing, one of the money rocks would have money in it. But yeah, the, um, the whole purpose, the design of the island was just meant so it was able to get around very easily. You're limited to the eight bridges and the eight inclines, 
but I want you want to make it cool, but you also want to make it very easy to get around. As you can see, that um, I have four. These are all money trees. So basically, what I do is every day one of these money trees uh, blooms. You collect the money, and then you grab your axe, cut the tree down, dig up the stump, and plant the new tree. And that's basically how I cycle these around. Coming down around here, we can see we got something off to the left here. We'll come down here, but uh, first, before we head up there, I, I have this um, grove of trees that usually I'll cycle through and uh, pick up all the branches. But if we come up here, we can see that I've got this whole, it's almost like a bridge, but it's not a bridge. What I would like to do is when I collect the T-Rex, I'll put the T-Rex on the left side and the pterodactyl on the other side. These are just substitutes until I can collect those because that's kind of what I want. We come up and then here's our museum. So kind of an epic entrance for the museum. I really like the way this turned out. It was uh, originally, instead of the fossils being there, I had two island, two little islands with trees on them, and I thought that was pretty nice. And you could actually come from the back and jump onto those little islands, but it was starting to get kind of a, to be kind of a pain to collect the sticks and stuff from the, the trees there. So I kind of thought that these fossils might be better and, and a more appropriate entrance to the museum. So... Let's go into the museum and uh, have our fossils assessed. Uh, I'm not gonna run around the museum. The museum's the same for everybody. I did um, collect all the fossils really easily, like within two months, without trading with anybody. You just dig up those fossils every day, assess them, and if there's some that he doesn't have, you just give it to him. And without trading fossils or anything, you get, you'll get everything. Like, if you're doing it every day, you'll get it within two months, easy. The thing that's terrible, okay, the fossils, collected in two months, easy. Now, the insects and the fish, if you're on top of everything, it'll take you a year without time traveling. I'm, this is everything without time traveling. If you want to time travel, that's fine. I actually think that time traveling might be more work than just playing the game a little bit every day. But if that's the way you want to play it, that's fine. Yeah, within a year, the, the insects and the fish. But when this the game got updated with the artwork... This is just going to take forever to do, unless you're gung-ho about trading artwork and stuff with people. Because Red, the, the dealer that shows up and you have to select the right artwork and everything, he should. I think he should show up once a week, but he's not set up that way. Like It seems like most of this game, you could collect everything feasibly within a year if you're playing without time traveling and you're not trading with anybody. But, except for the artwork. The artwork could take you years and years and years to collect, and I don't know if that's by design or not. Um, they should really put out an update that guarantees Red show up one day a week. So anyway, we're coming down here just south of the um, museum. I did set up an area for breeding flowers. Each one of these sections is a different type of flower. And as you can see, I haven't really been tending to it. It's just, just something... I set up in case I felt like doing something like this in the future. I kind of mess around with it, but I don't even water these flowers every day. Maybe that's something I'll get into later on. And of course, I got this other hill. This hill has been here for a long time. Uh, the only difference is the thing that I do is I terraformed it to connect it to the higher hill, but um, so I'd have less uh, inclines. But I, I like the way I had this set up. I set this up a long time ago. A fountain in the middle. Four little pounds surrounding it and flowers on the outside. Up here, up the left area, I'm looking at the cat because he's making weird noises. I, I figure, oh, got so the windmill farm or whatever, got the climbing area. This is kind of like the gym area. Again, I had the, the gym and the wrestling area in one room, but the room was so small, I was like, screw it, just throw everything outside. It, I mean, the rain doesn't affect this stuff, so, and, and it actually gives me points towards the island for having a perfect town very easily. That's a pretty uh, rare butterfly thing. Let's uh, get that thing. Let's get that thing. Come on. Oh, and I accidentally hit the... Come on. Oh, come on. Yeah, through... go through the wheel. <laughs> Is that Queen Alexandra? I think I'm going to save that for... Oh, there it goes. And, and guaranteed, something always breaks. So the way I usually play this, so I don't have to keep running back and collecting uh, nets and stuff. So, okay, the way this works is pretty weird. So if I were to just uh, put that uh, in my hands, it doesn't wind up in my favorite wheel. You can see that it's missing 
even though I have one. And even if I hold it, it still doesn't show up on my wheel. This is the weird thing. So the way to get this to work is I drop it. Oh, wait, okay, then I'm going to move this over here. I always carry around wrapping paper in case I pick it, get something that I don't want. I'll wrap it and give it to a villager right away. Um, you drop the net, pick it up, and viole, voila, viole, <laughs> it's in your favorites already. It's so goofy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the piers here. There's some fish that can only be caught off the pier. Um... Summer shell. I, I will go around and probably collect all the shells anyway, because that all the uh, yeah these are, the summer shells are a timed event thing, so I always pick them up. But if you pick up all the shells around the area, it just uh, increases the chance of another shell spawning. And this is right now my arcade area, so I've got three arcade machines. One of them, my uh, Nook's cranny sells, and the other two I got from a friend. I could probably get the other ones from him too, because. Um, one of my friends that play the game is pretty obsessed with collecting everything in the game, and I could probably get all the pinball machines from him, too. Actually, he might be missing one, but this is the one my... He gave me this pinball machine, and then, like, the very next day, the Nook's Cranny was selling the very same pinball machine. Yeah, my goal is eventually one time to get all of the uh, pinball machines and arcade machines. Again, I'm not, like, super gung-ho about getting it done. It'll happen eventually. I'm just really patient with the game. And down here, I put some other neat trinkets, like the, the table, uh, hat tables, the billiards table, the foosball. <laughs> and uh, here's here's your game plan for the foosball. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, there's some stuff I could probably put here. Again, the town is mostly done the way I want it. So let's take a look at Abel's sister. Now, there was a uh, item I made, uh, the magic wand, and you just have all these preset costumes and stuff, and uh, just change whatever you want. But the thing that sucks about the magic wand is it tells you that, oh, you're not really wearing these clothes. The magic wand just makes you look like you're wearing the clothes. So you can't try on outfits or anything while you're using the magic wand, so I just immediately stopped using it. So, um, in the old games, you would have to go and say, oh, I want this, I want that. But in this game, it's not even worth looking at anything. Instead, you just go right into the um, the fitting room. And you can see everything that's for sale, which is more stuff than what's actually on the floor. The thing that really, really sucks about this is say you want... So, okay, what's nice is that, okay, I want the toga, I want the ribbon, I want this hat or whatever. Uh, and then you can just walk out and buy the things that you selected. But... Did I? Yeah, uh, okay. But say you want every single color of these pineapple aloha shorts. Well, you can't select them all. You have to select them one at a time. So you have to buy, take one, leave, enter again, buy it, leave, enter again. It'd be nice if you could actually select more than one thing and buy them all at once. The nice thing is that if you don't want to wear it out, it goes directly into your storage at home. So let's go into Nook's Cranny. So what they got for sale here. Oh, they got the everything that I own already. <laughs> um, except for the drying rack, because I'm not I'm not interested in that. And again, I always check turn up prices. It's they're really cheap today because um, they, they had a small spike earlier in the week. But let's sell. But yeah, um <laughs> that's pretty much the whole island. You got the pretty much the full experience of this. Let me just run around a little bit and see if I can think of anything else. Oh yeah, the message in the bottle, which is always something that I have, usually. Wooden bookshelf. Yeah, of course I have that. So, for a while I was saving these cards to trade with other people, but it seems like the people that I've played with already have everything, so I wind up just selling those too. You can't even store them in your storage for some reason. Also, turnips. When uh, on Sunday comes, if I feel like buying turnips, if I think there's going to be a, a large a spike uh, using the website Turnip Profit. I'll buy turnips and I'll just lay them all over the beach. <laughs> oh yeah, I've completely forgotten about actually going into the, I guess, the community center. And I know that in this uh, recycling bin, I, it, it's not a recycling bin, you can't take anything out of it. It's just where things wind up if they become lost or things just randomly show up. But I know that there's items in here I just never took and I'm taking them now because I'm going to store them in my house for no reason. Uh, every time you access this, you get mileage per day. But I always check 
this every day too, just because um, I always check to see if there's new fencing, and there never is, so I don't know why I keep checking that. <laughs> but uh, Nook Shopping, let's see here. I probably have a whole storage full of them. Area, and I have a spreadsheet that, that, in, that lists which what I have and what I don't have. And it would be nice if it would have some sort of indicator anywhere, like even in when you're buying clothes that said, oh, you already bought this or you've never seen this before. Instead, you wind up buying the same thing over and over again, which is why I had um, <laughs> some multiple of music in my storage because the stuff I accidentally bought more than once and nobody needed it. And I, like, that's why I started making a spreadsheet because I already have this. And that's the other thing is it seems like it's going to be really quick to get all the music too because um, not only do you have KK coming every every week to get a song that you don't have, but uh, occasionally you could just buy a song you don't have through that as well. So yeah, I mean, um, other than the, the items breaking frequently, that is, um, the, the items breaking is probably my number one complaint. Just happens so often that you wind up having to just um, make tons of tools. Also, the golden tools. I, I'm glad I remembered this because you can get golden tools and I've already managed to be able to get the... Um, what do I have? The golden slingshot and the golden wa uh, water can. The golden slingshot and the golden water can, but I don't ever want to use those because they require a gold nugget to make. Those are pretty hard to find, but they will break as well. I mean, granted, they'll last twice as long, but maybe if I have a whole stack of gold nuggets I'm not going to use, I'll start using golden tools. But I, for the moment, I'm just kind of storing them because I don't. it's just way too expensive and they're going to break anyway. Um, one of the tricks you could do with a lot of the tools that you have is that if you're using it a lot and you think it's going to break, you could go ahead and customize it, change the color of it, and it resets the durability. And that's the other thing too with this. I'm putting stuff in my storage and it would be nice if I could just grab a whole bunch of stuff and put it in storage. Can I do that? If I tried to do that? No, you can't do that. You have to select everything one at a time, put in storage. But the thing is, is that put in storage isn't always the last option. Sometimes you pick drop on floor and then you wind up having to pick it up anyway. So just really quick, I totally forgot to show my passport. And I really like my passport because look, you see registered uh, March 20th, 2020, exactly three months ago today. But that picture is not, <laughs> this is when I was dressing like a king for some reason. I just really liked that picture. So it wound up being my passport. But I was saying that I had the best slogan i'm the ultimate life form so as you see i've already reached the pinnacle of animal crossing dumb or whatever by becoming the ant the ultimate life form so <laughs> yeah as you can see my uh slogan there catchphrase uh high kibas from mystery science theater so of course yeah let's look at um some of the pictures that i've taken over time you can see how i've progressed for the last three months yeah, so of course, as soon as you get the uh, the camera thing, the very first day, and take the picture of the of your character, what he looks like in the tent. What's funny is that I've only been able to buy the hairstyles that were available at Nooks. Um, I never was it Nooks or the Nook the, the the ATM or whatever. I've never encountered any new hairstyles. My niece, uh, when I visited her town, she had a totally crazy hairstyle. She she said she got it from a balloon. Now, I've been playing for three months, and I've never gotten any weird hairstyles from a balloon or anything. But, yeah, that's what I was kind of forced to, to look with when I looked like when I first started the game. Um, yeah, there's uh, the house, the first upgrade. Um, we'll try to go through these pretty quick. There's a lot of them. As you can see, my logo didn't quite turn out quite uh, right there at the beginning, but I was able to fix that. Um, there's Agnes, one of the first villagers. Oh, there's, um, I think this is actually my friend's town, uh, and there he is in the background there. That's, that might that might be his house in the very beginning. The very first weekend, I think, um, like two days into the game. And this is his, uh, either his or mine. I think this is mine. Yeah, this is my uh, town. Would it originally look like you see my house back there with the bonfire I remember having. And uh, here I am playing the Ocarina while he's fishing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just my house again. Again, every every time it was like, Hey, take a picture for a Nook Miles. I took a picture. So again, here's... And I think I've got the hairstyle now that I'm still stuck with. I'd like to get a pompadour, but I haven't seen that yet. Uh, so yeah, this is this is where the museum was upgrading, I think. And this is where 
the uh, Nook's Cranny was going to be. Yeah, this is just inside the original community center tent. Inside of the original Nook's Cranny. Oh yeah, this is where they had the celebration because now there's Nook's Cranny. I took a picture every time there was a celebration. Uh, celebration for the museum opening inside the museum. I thought that was a pretty cool picture. Uh, very first bridge. <laughs> oh yeah, originally when you set up the first couple of houses, uh, you had to have certain items they had to make to uh, kind of like almost like a tutorial like you have to make these things for people to move in so that's the stone table and uh, stool there again uh, original fencing for my house <laughs> uh, looks like I'm pretty happy about getting that tree down that was when I first made the mystery science theater silhouette so it's pretty much remained the same ever since I made it and I put it at the beginning the entrance of the airport originally uh, this was Harv's photo session that was the very first couple ones that I made uh, took of that one um, I don't really I don't really find it that entertaining I don't go there hardly at all uh, just a picture of um, nooks cranny there uh, caught in, catching an oar fish just throwing as much weird stuff into Harv's photo of paradise as I can oh that that remix isn't turning out too well <laughs> oh wait no yes it is <laughs> oh I, I, I don't know I just think this one's kind of funny what did she do to piss me off <laughs> A um, little too happy in that picture, I think. Maybe another picture in Nook's. That fish only you can catch when it's raining. I can't remember if it's Nook's or the museum. Probably Nook's upgrade. I wanted to sell these fish, but I couldn't that day. So I just took a picture by them. The community center upgrading. So everybody's celebrating that. I think this is like one of the very first inclines I had started to build. Sling, I don't know what that is. Oh, there's the crazy hairstyle my niece had. <laughs> I, I've never seen anything like that. She said she got it from a balloon, but I, I've popped, popped hundreds and hundreds of balloons, and I've never seen anything like that uh, hairstyle from a balloon. At least not yet. <laughs> oh, what'd she do when she ran to my house? She went into my bed. And there she is, for some reason, uh, looking happy. I don't know. <laughs> oh, a little video I think I took on accident. I think I was waiting for... Um, Shooting stars. I need to delete that one. Uh, everybody's celebrating the new campsite. And I originally had, um, when I before I decided to move all the rocks, I put little posts around the rocks so I wouldn't have to dig holes to hit the, hit the rocks and get everything from them. Everybody's celebrating that incline. Get used to those pictures because I made, I've pretty much built and removed every incline and bridge more than once. <laughs> Um, is my friend showing up uh, to my island or his island? I can't tell which one it is. It's, I think this is his island. Yeah, that's definitely his island. Uh, that's his house at one point. Again, I took a picture of like every single room. He had a garbage room. <laughs> but again, he likes to clutter things, and I just don't like that. Uh, but he clutters things so he can get the most number of points every week. And there's another koala thing. I'm sure I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Um, playing, I guess, Catan in the in the, in the house in my house. He's checking out my house there. Uh, blue marlin. Oh yeah, that was. Um, it was funny that I caught a blue marlin once and I accidentally sold it instead of donating it to a museum. So I kind of got obsessed with catching another one. <laughs> so I was, it took forever. It took like three more days to catch another one for some reason. Um, this was the original island, I think. This was it originally had this little island in the little pool or whatever. So I thought they put a bunch of flowers there. They're celebrating a new bridge. Um, oh yeah, the the dinosaur there I originally had sitting outside my house. Bengal, who is now a villager, was on a random uh, mystery island, which is where I found her and I invited her over. There is another bridge celebration. Something's pretty funny. I think the sheep working out may be pretty funny. <laughs> uh, CJ. I want to, yeah, CJ. Another incline celebration. This is the Money Rock Island, so I was pretty happy to get to that one time. And I hit that like three times in one day, I think. Another bridge celebration. Uh, bamboo. I went, No, I was going to say this is Bamboo Island, but no, this is originally what, on my island. I had a bam. This is the original bamboo area. Uh, Wisp, I've seen him a few times. Another incline celebration. This is my original town tune. I kind of changed it to the te a Tetris theme, but I may go back to this one day. That's why I took the screenshot of this, so I would remember what it was. 
um, Easter balloon. Oh yeah, Easter was a dark time in Animal Crossing where you wanted to collect wood, but you'd get eggs. You wanted to collect fish, but you'd get eggs. Eggs everywhere. I, I hated it so much I sold all the eggs. Didn't even make the items. Actually, I think I made the items and sold the items. I didn't want anything to do with that Easter stuff. Oh yeah, when I got the sign, I had to put up that sign. So that there's another money right island, and you see where you can get all the money. <laughs> uh, another incline picture, celebration picture. That's where I made the golden axe. That's the thing. I got the golden axe was the very first thing I got. I couldn't. I knew there was a third one I, I made. I couldn't remember what it was, but it was the golden axe. And it breaks. And that sucks because the best thing about the Golden Axe in previous Animal Crossings was the fact that it never broke. And this breaks. And that's very disappointing. Um, this is somebody else that was visiting my town. This was that uh, original room where I had the, uh, the workout stuff out inside here. And now it's outside. Another incline celebration. Uh, I finally got my We're Open sign. <laughs> Uh, Abel's sister, I don't know what the purpose of that picture was, uh, another ink, oh no, bridge celebration, uh, Abel's sister's celebration, oh yeah, yeah, that's what it was, that's because Abel's sister's was brand new, and that is actually the celebration for it, hiding in the bushes, I guess, <laughs> I don't know why, what the purpose of that. I think every time it wanted me to take a picture, I posed like that for a while, don't know why that picture's there, oh yes, because I made it to Tarantula Island the one day. And bridge uh, celebration again. Oh, yeah, the very first uh, major profit from turnips, thanks to the... Turnip uh, trading is one of my favorite things in the game. Uh, without it, I wouldn't have over 25 million bells. <laughs> I, I, I want to see if I could get up to a billion, but that might take longer than I'm thinking it will. Uh, one of the very first KK uh, performances in my town. Over at my friend's town, this is just me taking pictures of this stuff, another incline celebration, double waterfall, I think I just created there. Me and Marshall, Marshall, one of my favorite characters. Oh yeah, I'm buying all the turnips and I, you don't know really where you want to place them, so you wind up placing them everywhere. Another bridge celebration, shouting for some reason. Another bridge celebration, shouting for some reason. Another bridge celebration, another br uh, incline celebration. Shouting for some reason. <laughs> Incline celebration. Oh, this is where I started to dress like the king with the cowboy shirt. <laughs> uh, another incline celebration. I like that uh, that look where he was like angry. Look, my character is angry looking like the king. I think that was hilarious. That's why it's my um, passport picture too. Incline celebration. Uh, oh, there's where I got the, the, the royal outfit too. <laughs> yeah, just with the axe. That's just a great picture right there. Uh, relaxing at one of my friend's towns. Incline celebration. Because <laughs> some of these inclines I would build and destroy and build and destroy and build and destroy. I, I like how worried Rattle looks. <laughs> that of angry hiding behind. Like he's, he's really, he's genuinely fearful there. Um, yeah, money from uh, turnip trading. <laughs> oh yeah, the five star rating. That was when I originally got the five star rating. I, I know I still have the five star rating. The, the lilies of the valley keep showing up. Uh, <laughs> um, surprised about something. There's there's Marshall again, one of my favorites. And Incline. Nook's Cranny upgrade. That's right. And uh, one of my friends town there. Uh, this is when I first got that pinball machine. And uh, uh, this I took this picture because I thought it was pretty cool. When people come to and leave from your island, they leave the air trail streaks in the sky. And I thought that was a really cool touch. I don't know what was so amusing there. That's when I started uh, dressing like one of the three musketeers or something. I think the up the museum got upgraded again. Another incline. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I went through a phase where I was kind of dressing like that too. You'll see that a bit. Um, I don't know why I took this picture fishing. I thought it was pretty cool the, wearing the the goggles, the cyber goggles like that because it glowed red whenever you got angry. <laughs> the angry emote. Uh, incline. Uh, interesting picture there. I was now this I wore for quite some time. Um, I did I like a, I like how uh, Marshall's sitting there. He's eating a sandwich. At first, it looked like a hot dog, though. <laughs> oh, interesting picture. Oh yeah, then I changed out the cyber glasses for the ski goggles. I was wearing that for a really long time. Uh, another incline celebration. Again, that glowed the same way. Uh, and then the Viking helmet to go along with that. This is one of my friends' towns, I think. Yeah, and that's my town with uh, red showing up for like. One of the very first times. CJ, the Incline Celebration. 
Uh, this was when I originally got the three arcade machines in my house, just so you could get a close-up view of them. Scorpion's showing up, and I don't think this was Scorpion Island, but I think I made that, and I managed to catch all those scorpions. Uh, again, this is when I finally finished making the um, rock garden with the rocks positioned exactly where I want them. Most when I really finished the um, breeding area for the flowers that I just never use. And that's originally when I finally got the whole waterfall uh, house thing set up. Incline uh, celebration, bridge celebration. We're getting to really now where my town's finally starting to look the way it does now. Incline celebration, incline celebration, incline celebration. And uh, accidental video, it looks like. <laughs> oh, I don't know why. Uh, incline, there's bridge celebration, bridge celebration, bridge celebration, uh, bridge celebration. <laughs> And uh, when I finally got the uh, the Kector finish, uh, bri uh, incline celebration. Oh, I can't believe I never took a picture of that skull mountain that I had at one point. Yeah. Oh, and then this was um, uh, the whole wedding photo session thing that I got sick of pretty quick. Um, it was pretty interesting having them to pose on toilet stuff. <laughs> and they're in jail for the reception. But it was just wedding reception, wedding reception. It got tiring quick, and I didn't really care for the uh, the items at all that you were getting from it. So I kind of stopped doing that. But yeah, that's the last one, and that is pff, Animal Crossing. I'm sure this is going to be a lot longer video than I intended to be, but whatever. I Not many people are going to watch this video. Let me know if you did reach the end of it. It's just something I had to get out of my system because I did play this game every day for three months straight <laughs> so i had to just make a video on it so um yeah and don't expect a whole lot of people to watch it but if you did hey um let me know if you did that's all i really have let's uh let's leave see y'all next time